What is up, beautiful people? Welcome once again to HM Clothings. And in today's tutorial, we're going to be doing bits and pieces of different kind of styles just in one dress, okay? So we're going to be doing the upper part to be like a wrap dress. I'll show you how to make a wrap top the perfect way that will avoid gaping. There's this beautiful sleeve here or here that we're going to be using, okay? And the beautiful bottom design. This one will just finish everything off. So if you want to see how I'm going to incorporate all of this to make this masterpiece, please do keep on watching. So the first part of this video will be the beautiful wrap design so let's drop the wrap part and see how that is wait tell me you did not see my hair first of all tell me no just tell me you didn't see this beautiful hair okay so if you like my hair please write it in the comment section below don't mind me i'm like that sometimes mm, i like to be sweet talk too okay so yes let me go back to what we we're saying if i deviate so if you want to see how everything was made please do keep on watching and yeah let's get right into this video so i have my full front pattern because we are doing a wrap front for the upper part of this dress i have my back pattern just on the half scale okay so the front for the wrap then for the skirt the, that's the dress the bottom part of the dress i have my full front just the straight skirt pattern with my darts and i'll also have my full back but i have just i have two pieces of the back that way so we're going to be working on this pattern like so first of all we're going to start with the upper part of this pattern so guys um sorry about the whole long dart here that we're seeing like double dart my dad ideally should get to 2 in, two cm or like 3 quarter inch below this bust level okay so it was an error when i was transferring my dad that's why i had to elongate it please put that out of the way first of all now for the wrap top part of this dress we are going to be starting from what from like you measure how wide you want the chest to be and from there you're going to be cutting like a curve to the other side of the front so let's quickly do that this will be like the midpoint this here will serve as the midpoint for this so let's measure that all right so first things first i'm going to measure how wide i want this neck to be okay so from this center point here i'll just measure like three and a half inches for the neck width three and a half inches is fine which is like there for me so I'll open this part up and I'll draw a curve to come down from here. That curve will come down this bust line, this bust line that's here. Okay, so it's going to come from like here. Okay. just blend into this um, this line this true bust line here I should even use another color of marker so that you can see the um, difference so this is what I'm actually cutting away okay let's just cut that first then every other thing I'll use a different color of marker so I'm cutting from this line let me just go a little higher up Alright, so I know this is looking so deep, but don't worry, we'll be fine. Now that we have this, the next thing to do is to draw this um, waist dart to get up to this point. So we are actually going to be tightening this waist dart along that point. 
yeah whatever that size you have down here try to take that that size up there so i'll just rule a straight line like so i'll cut it and close it back on that point so i'll cut it here then put it back there and close it back then trim that point So there's no need to trim because this is tightened already but the next thing to do is actually to tighten this part up because this neck will gape it will be too loose because we have cut so low so so low we actually need to tighten it up from this waist that here we need to draw it that to this um this neckline this low neckline we have here so i'll just draw like a one inch half inch size that oh sorry i should use my red marker okay so i've drawn it that there that will tighten any gaping we have there okay and we'll close that part up properly now i'm going to cut on this that here I'm also going to cut on this that here okay and I'll cut this shoulder that here so that I can close it up okay I'm going to cut the shoulder that a little lower now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this first that up like so I'll close that waist that up please I hope you get the gist after you've drawn you need to draw this line so that that place will tighten up if not you see that you make your wrap top and that place will be gaping so I want to eliminate the gap there so now close this one up the next thing is to also close this that up here so once you close that out up you can trim this place so that it's matching up nice Okay, and now that you have this wide open that you actually need to close it up so that it's going to relax okay but now the that no longer moves okay now that we have this we also need to open up these lines here that's where the fullness will be for our um, wrap we need to create fullness so i'll do one fullness from this bottom here so like so for one fullness that's from that waist that and from there again i'll draw another fullness up here so we're actually doing this so that that shoulder that will close up okay once you open it up here the fullness will transfer there and that shoulder that will close up so let's slash through see it will move now uh -huh. and close up there okay let's slash through this other one so that's where the wrap fullness will be transferred to i hope you get the gist it's not difficult to just do it how i've explained now close up that shoulder that you know this is your shoulder that just close it back up close that shoulder that's up yes so this is what you have let's close it up see eh? slashing and spreading is my specialty <laughs> call me the slash and spread maestro mm -hmm. and this thing is by practicing you know? that's why i love doing this kind of tutorials don't get tired of me hmm? don't get tired when you see you just say hey this lady that slashes anything is here no so trimming that part off now i'll also draw slash lines up here so that that place to be relaxed okay i drew slash lines here so that i'll spread that part but i don't want the spread to only be here i want there to be a little spread up here so i'll draw slash lines there too now this shoulder this one is part of the shoulder that so we can just cut it away 
we really don't need it we have closed that that up so we don't need that poking out excess okay <coughs> so let's draw slash lines here as well okay so i'll draw two lines to here so that everything relaxes everything all the lines were coming from that waist that tip okay that's where all the lines were coming from so i'll slash this ones too okay so i guess we'll just do this wrap up finish it then the wrap down will be the next tutorial so that is not so much and you guys are tired of watching okay so now i have spread it out i'll now put it on my paper if i don't want the spread on that shoulder to be too much i can close it up and make the spread here much more so when i am sewing up i'll be gathering that place up and gathering the fullness up here and it will form the um fullness so let me put it on another paper i will not put white paper on that so that we're not like where did all that slashes go i'm actually putting another colored paper on there let me put it upside down like this so that you can see it clearly so i don't want this don't spread it too wide remember that you have what you're spreading up here so let this place be considerate and here to considerate don't centralize the spread on just one place okay so I think we are good like this. What do you think? I think it's good this way. Yeah. Okay, so now that I have spread it, the spread is more on the waistline than on the shoulder line. I'll just hold it down. fine now so let's cut this everything should be straight no curved lines i'll cut this one in one so that i don't have any excess there okay then here Just draw a straight line. I advise you for this part now, draw a straight line from that tip, this tip here to this tip up here. Draw a straight line like that and cut out that poking effect. Cut it out. So, yeah, so this is what we'll have for the upper front so when you are cutting on your fabric please notch this part and this part these two middle parts so that you know where you're gathering and match this middle part here as well so you know where you're gathering your back will practically remain the same let's even measure what this um half length is for me i'm having about about 16 inches for me so i'll add one inch down here and half inch up here so that it can drop to like or i'll make it 18 inches in total i'll just cut it to be like 18 inches on my fabric okay so let's cut the front i'll just sew up this upper part we'll see how the upper part is uh-huh then we can possibly do the sleeve okay see how that is then we'll now do the lower parts so everything i'll just take it in different videos so that one video is not just all on one thing and we're like what's going on what's going on so this just did simple slash and spread let's quickly cut this on the fabric and wrap this up
So this is my back and here is my front. This fabric is so slippery, but I love the feel. When I finished doing that cow, everyone's like, oh I love your dress, oh I love your dress, oh I love your dress. So I, I, that was why I went to buy it again. <laughs> Who doesn't like some good old compliments? So yeah. We'll sew the side seams. We'll gather the shoulder up. I've notched where I'm going to be. I'll just pleat it instead of gathering so I know what I'm doing. I'll pleat it instead of gathering. Okay. Let me hold it with a pin there. Then for the other side as well, pin it down. And I'll have that too. Then this back will be for the zip. So let's join this up. Okay guys, so I have sewn this up, please you need to still whip it and iron it well, you know that this is actually like um, um, a fabric that you don't need to line, but you need to whip the inside so that it's neat. So I have this for my front, here for this part, and for the other part here, you know because there will be a zipper there. So I want this one to be on top and I'll iron it very neat so that I will lie flat. So that means that this will be going into the side seam. So I'm going to open this part up again. Okay. Let me open it up. Great, now that we have these two fronts overlapping each other like so, then you can take the back here, place it on it like so, so that you can close it up. That's what we should have done. So I'll close that up and do the same thing for this other side. Put it that way, right sides facing each other and close it up. So let's close both sides. So we'll know it's only the zipper part that is opened. Okay, so this is what we'll have for the front wrap of this dress. Please go ahead to give it a very good press, very, very good one. 
okay and yeah let's move right over to the bottom part i think i'll do the bottom part then the sleeve or well, let's move right over to the sleeve anywhere you see just take it that way all right so so i have my patterns already for the skirt part of this um gown the first part was i used my half bodies measurement and now i'm going to be using the skirt to make up for the lower part so this is my full skirt in the full front my skirt in the full front and i have my back too in the full yeah in the full back as well full front and full back so let's start working on the front first of all my dark line i'm going to draw it straight down so that this part will have the slits there'll be the slits through there and this is the part that will have the drape effect okay so let me draw a line and I also this dark line I'll let it get to my hip line so that if there's any excess there it will help to eliminate the else excess in bulkiness I'm going to be cutting the darts off as well so that I don't have any fullness there. Okay. So that will be for the side of the front. Now for this other one, this other side, we want to create the cowl on that part. Okay, so I'm going to be taking the back that will. So you're gonna match up the back. Mm -hmm. you match it up take your two back pieces so this is the back that has the zip so this is the part this one is the part that will be there okay this is the part that will be there so that's the part that the cow will um, be on okay so this is the part that will have the cow then you join it together. Oh, I don't want to touch my basic sketch pattern. Okay, good. Because I don't want to touch this pattern. I don't want to make this pattern. Um, I don't want to destroy it. <laughs> I don't want to cut it through. So I won't. I'll be. I'll just flip this other one. To the other side and use it that way so it's not of me to make it this way uh, I'll you know this is where the side seam is for the other one I'll just put it this way so that the side seam will match up please don't be confused though I don't want to destroy that one that's why I'm a, because that's my basic skirt pattern if I want to keep um, making other style designs of a skirt that's what I'll use so I'll just flip this one and use this one that way. Okay. Now I'll just hold it down together temporarily. It's not that you need to hold it down together, but temporary holding down. Now this dart that is here, I just want to remove the darts from this side. I don't want I don't want any darts there. I just want to remove the darts here. So let us draw lines and remove that dart. So I'll measure the dark size I have there. I have one inch. So I'll come here and remove that one inch to the hip line. Okay, now that I've removed the dark, I can just cancel this out that I've removed it. Well, first of all, determine where you want that cow effect to stop. Some people can add fullness of the cow all the way to the bottom, but that's not what we want to achieve in this style. So the cow effect should be stopping just by the hip. I want the cow effect to stop at the hip. Okay, so that means I'll just draw two lines that will slash through just to the hip, okay? Because that's where I want it to stop. So I'm actually going to be measuring, measuring out um where i want it to be so for instance 
I'll draw a slash line like one inch apart one inch here and one inch here same thing here I'll measure out one inch and one inch okay and now from this hip line I'll measure one inch here and another one inch here but you can space it out if one inch looks small you can do one and a half inch one and a half inch so you use one and a half one and a half one and a half one and a half and space it out there oh please we even didn't remove this um other dart here so please let's just remove the other dart as well i don't want all those extra fullness so let's measure out the darts we have there um half inch so i'll be removing out half inch darts here Remove your darts first of all. I already have one inch, one inch here. I'll come to this side too and do one inch, one inch. One inch here. I'm using that red marker so that you can see it. And I'm going to draw curve lines. This is one inch and this is one inch. I'm going to draw curve lines, curve lines. Okay, and maybe to the hip as well. We'll draw another line to the hip. So let me do one inch there. So I have three slashes. Three slashes going on. So the other one, the other one inch will get there. now we have drawn our marks for slashing and what we'll do now is to cut through those lines so that we can spread it okay so you cut from here don't cut to this point leave some um leave some excess or allowance there so that it doesn't just cut open so you're cutting like this Okay, so now that we have this, we're supposed to spread it out, spread, 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 spread this fullness out. So you're going to expand this, spread the fullness out, put paper on that. Okay. All right, guys, so this is my skirt pattern, and I brought it to a wider range so that we can slash, spread it very well. That place was limiting so we take this make sure that this is on a straight line if you want to see the real fullness and you can tilt this in place so that this part is matching up and make sure this part has the fullness if not you won't have the required fullness i did one but it wasn't as full as the cowl i wanted so that's why i'm taking this to a wider range spreading it well okay so the bottoms need to match up like this let me pin it let me hold it there then this place up here let it match up on your straight line okay put it there Okay, now it's matching up so this wants to this um, tape I put here is not letting it move so should match up as well you need to spread this more the teeth need to meet the teeth off <laughs> okay so Yeah, that's more like it, that's better. So 
so this, this place needs to relax so mm -hmm. it's relaxing now so if it's relaxing trim off this edge here whenever you slash and spread make sure your patterns relax okay now place this on my fabric and cut it out So the front, so that you are not confused, the front will be cut this way, okay? Make sure you leave like one inch here too as well, so that you have your front pattern slit. Then the back will be cut this way. So place your back like this, place your front like this, because this is how the back will be that's how the front should be please don't get it mixed up so now let's even see if this will drape so if i hold this part and this part this is the waistline can you see that place is draping it's draping so this part would you saw that part closed so that it just goes in okay so that's what we have for the side so let's quickly cut the front and back. This was the one I cut before. It did not drip. It did not even drip at all. So that was why we had to spread it to the fullest. It didn't drip. Okay, see it. This one did not drip at all. So I spread it to the fullest. Okay, so let me just put, instead of wasting the fabric, let me put my front on my back cut it out so I put my front here so that I can have that one inch for the zip okay and my back I'll put it there so that the zip line too can be I'll just put it this way I'm putting my allowance. So yeah, this is our front. When we're cutting, this is our front. So these are the two pieces that are matching up in the front. You're going to sew it with a one inch sewing allowance so that your slits can be on that front. Let me pin it there. One inch here to get to where you want your slits to be. Okay, that's for the front. Now for the back, it's going to be along the zipper line, so this is the back along the zipper line, so we're going to be putting it right side to right side here for the zip. Okay, so, and you will also be sewing this place closed on the wrong side. So this draping part close so that's what's going to um, do the draping okay so let's just finish up the skirts use your hemming gum hem it well do a very neat finish for the skirt join it to the upper part then we do our sleeve okay
all right guys so let me show you what we've sewn up so you get the gist first of all sew that part close where the cowl those two that um, straight line is just sew it by half inch close now sew that cent that front not the center front where the slits will be sew the sides in close and sew part of the zipper allowance closed so when i open everything up i'll be having something like this remember this will be on the side so you can see that cowl draping you can see the slits that will happen at the bottom so i'll use hemming gum hem it well okay i hope you get the gist though and this is the back of the um this is the back of the where the zip will be you see it's straight line if there's excess we're going to trim that after we're done with sewing and joining everything up okay so this is what we'll have now i'm just going to take my front piece that wrap piece we've done and put it just on that side so you can see the mix of colors okay yeah so what I did for that wrap was those two wrap pieces after I opened it up and put them inside each other I also held it down there by like quarter inch so that it's not moving out of place so now I'm just going to join it side seams to side seams match it up match up this back so that it's the zipper part that will be left open where the zip will go into match up every other thing yeah match up this other side too for the zip and we'll be good to put put um what we need next so let me sew this up then i'll go and iron this thing very very well and show you in a minute all right guys so we are through with this dress i eventually did the upper and the lower bodies in this dress tutorial okay and you can see the slits i've ironed put my um my hair no not hair stay my hemming gum and also see the drape here closed up here okay and the wrap here so the sleeve will still go into this hole so i will not finish the sleeve but i'm going to show you this dress in case you want to make it a sleeveless dress use a bias to turn the armhole and you're fine it won't um gape or anything you won't have that gaping effect because of my natalie bray bodies and you can also go ahead to um, whip the inside that one i'll do it later on so when I turn it inside out as well, you can see that it's still looking neat. I can get away with it, but we wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> I wouldn't want to teach you something and not apply it as well. So I'll be whipping the inside. Yeah, this dress is lovely. I love it. I love it. The wrap, the cowl, the everything, okay? So if you want to see how to make this sleeve, I'm still making this sleeve again. Why? Because the one I made initially, a lot of you guys complained that you couldn't see um, how I did the stitches and all. So I'm going to make sure that I catch all the action in that tutorial. So if you want to see that tutorial again, please click the part two of this video, okay? So if you did enjoy this tutorial, please don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up. Also, subscribe if you're yet to drop a comment. Tell me you love my hair. Tell me you love this dress. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.